Hello everyone. In this session, let me explain one more important uh, theorem. So as we done uh, the same for uh, triangle and rectangle, so this is also important. It has been asked in the year 2018. So statement is more or less similar. So if f of z is analytical in a open disk delta defined by z minus z naught is less than r. So this is the definition of circular disk. Anyhow, I have done this uh, while explaining the basics. Fine. Then we have to prove integral over closed curve C f of z into dz is equal to zero for every closed curve C in D. Fine. So let me consider a um, closed disk or a closed curve C in D. And if O is the center of a circle, or uh, let O be a center, and let Z not be whatever I am explaining manually, you have to write it in a sentence form. So let O be a center with Z not as X not plus I into Y not, and let P be any point, something like uh, this. So if P is any point with uh, coordinates like Z is equal to X plus I Y, in the sense coordinates here will be X comma Y. So the coordinates of P V. X comma Y. So center is X not comma Y not. Let O be any point which is at a center. So X not Y not be center and the coordinates of A B X comma Y not. Coordinates of P B X comma Y and coordinates of B B X not comma Y. So Z not is of the form Z not plus I Y not and Z will be of the form X plus I Y. Now let me define the function f of z over uh, a sigma. Sigma is none other than it is applicable for entire region. So sigma is a region f of z into dz. So let me take this as equation one, where sigma is none other than horizontal segment. Or uh, let me say sigma consists of horizontal segment. Oh, you just look at the diagram. Sigma consists of horizontal segment. Oh, a from the center x not y not to x y not. I'm repeating once again. Sigma is a horizontal line segment, horizontal which contains a line segment from x not y not to x y not, and a vertical segment x y not and x y. See here, just this segment is represented as sigma. That is O to A and A to P. Or else x not y not to x y not again x y not to x y. So the same thing will be written in a sentence format. Fine. Now, if that was the case, equation one, this equation can be written as f of z is equal to this sigma is none other than the region O A P. So I can write O A P f of z into d z. And clearly, this region can be divided into two segment. One is along O A and another is along A P. So let me divide the line segment along O A plus along A P. f of z into d z. Fine. Now you you can look at the diagram. O A is along x x axis and P A will be along y axis. So you already know that along x axis y will be treated as constant. Fine. So O A is along x axis, so y will be constant. So you are going to integrate along the curve x naught. That is x naught to x. F of let me take z function as t plus i y naught. That is with respect to time coordinate, I am integrating it plus. I into I am going to write write this in the form of x plus i y. This is of the form x plus i into y will be I am going to convert a p. Now look at the uh, vertical segment a b, a p which is in the y direction. Obviously x is treated as constant, so I am going to integrate with respect to y. And moreover, it should be a function of t. See here. So it is of the form x plus i y. It is also form x plus i y. But we are integrating it with respect to a time coordinate. So that is why I have written it as a function of t. So let me take this as this is along O A P f of z into d z. So let me take this as equation two. Clear? Now um, by Cauchy's theorem for triangle, what we have done. I'm um, sorry. Cauchy's theorem for a rectangle: integral over f of z along the boundaries that is O A P B. You can clearly note that a rectangle O A P B is a rectangle, and integral over f of z into the f of f of z into d z will be zero. That is, the term will goes to zero. That is from the Cauchy's theorem for rectangle, right? Now, integrating f of z along O A P. See here, along O A P will be same as integrating along O B P. See here, O is point here and B is here, P is here. 
find this is first segment and this is seg for second segment. So I can write OAP as OBP into F of Z. So I can write the given function F of Z. Now whatever I have done for OAP, I am going to repeat it for OBP. So let me write OBP F of Z into DZ. F of Z into DZ. So clearly OBP is also can be divided into two segments that is along OB and another segment is along BP. So I can write this as a segment along OB F of Z into DZ. I am going to divide this segment plus a segment along BP F of Z into DZ. Now here also OB is along Y axis. You, when you compare it with the coordinate axis, it is along Y axis. So when we talk about Y axis, X coordinate remains constant. You look at OB, it is along Y axis. So X coordinate will be constant. So I am going to integrate it with respect to Y coordinate. So I can write this as I into Y naught into Y F of X naught plus I into T dt. When you integrate with respect to Y, you have to take the uh, I multiplication with I. Why? Because it is of the form X plus I Y. Y coefficient should be in the form of I. So here also I have done the same thing. Plus integration of BP. BP in the sense it is along X axis. So the Y coordinates remain constant. You have to integrate with respect to X. So I can write this as T plus I Y into DT. So OBP F of Z into DZ. I have written it in this form. Let me take this as equation 3. Now, from equation 2, you can look at the equation 2. From equation 2, it, it is of the form f of z, right? So, f of z, we can write dou f by dou y will be equal to i into f of x plus i y. Why? Because uh, with, when we differentiate with respect to x, the term containing x, that is this entire term will not be there. So, you will get only term containing y. So, with respect to y, so time coordinate will be varying with respect to y. So, that is why I have taken x x plus i y. So let me take this as i into x plus i y is none other than z. So let me replace this as z. So I have obtained f of z. Now look at the equation 3. So equation 3 implies this is from equation 2. Fine. So from equation 3 what I am going to do is I am going to differentiate with respect to x. So when you differentiate with respect to x so first term will not be there. y will goes to 0. Why? Because it is with respect to y. So you will get only second term. It will be f of x plus y. So time coordinate will be varying with respect to x. So I can rewrite this as f into z. Hope so it is clear. Now, whatever the theory I am just explaining. So I am not writing uh, all the theory. I am just writing mathematical steps. Anyhow I will send you the notes. Don't worry. So equation 2 and equation 3. I have differentiated with respect to y and with respect to x. Now let me consider dou f by dou x plus i into dou f by dou y. So what is the value of dou f by dou x is f of z. I have already simplified it. Plus i into dou f with respect to y is i into f of z. So i into i is i square. So you will get f of z minus f of z. So the value is 0. So what is the value I have obtained? dou f by dou x plus i into dou f by dou y is equal to 0. Now let me consider f, is f as u plus i y. i v. Let f is equal to u plus i v. Now let me differentiate this. So dou u by dou x uh, let me do one more step. So when you do dou f with respect to x, what you are going to get dou u by dou x, these steps will not be there in the notes. So I am explaining just for your reference. So you will get i into dou v by dou x. Similarly dou f by dou y will be dou u by dou y plus i into dou v by dou y. Now with this I can write, let me add these two. So dou f by dou x plus dou f by dou y will become dou u by dou x. I am going to substitute here plus i into dou v by dou x plus dou u by dou y plus i into dou v by dou y. Right, so this is what we have. Now I am going to separate the terms containing, uh, I mean uh, i and the uh, terms independent of i separately I am going to write. So you will get what is the value of dou f by dou x into plus dou f by dou y. I mean, I am sorry, i into dou f by dou y. This value is 0. So I will just multiply i here. This value is 0. So I will get dou u by dou x 
plus i into i'll write just one more step dou v by dou x plus i into dou u by dou y now i into i is i square so it is minus 1 1 into minus dou v by dou y remember these steps will not be there in the notes i am explaining just for your reference so so i'll take i common factor and i'll group these two sum so dou u by dou x minus dou v by dou y which is equal to 0 plus i into dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x this is what we have now as per the Cauchy's Riemann uh, integral or before going to write that let me equate it to 0 so you will get dou u by dou x minus dou v by dou y is equal to 0 why because we can write 0 as 0 plus i into 0 so equating the uh, corresponding coefficients you will get dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x will be equal to 0 from this I can write dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and dou u by dou y is equal to minus dou v by dou x right so from these two equation it is clear that both u and v are satisfying Cauchy's Riemann equation this is what the Cauchy's Riemann equation is so hope so you are uh, studied this concepts in your UG classes so since u and v satisfies Cauchy's Riemann equations let me write one statement since uh, dou f u and v satisfies Cauchy's Riemann that is CR equations right and dou f by dou x will be equal to small f of z here I have solved here see here dou f by dou x is equal to small f of z dou f by dou y is equal to i into f of z dou f by dou y is equal to i into f of z moreover f of z is analytical why because it is given in the statement itself see here f of z is analytical right and it is continuous as well hence the partial derivatives if that was the case if f is analytical function and if it satisfies Cauchy's Riemann equation then the partial derivative dou u by dou x dou v by dou y dou u by dou y and dou v by dou x every partial derivative will be existing and hence we can say f of z is equal to u plus i v is analytical if f is analytical and moreover all the partial derivative exists we can say u plus i v is also analytic in a given domain d as per the standard definition if that was the case at the beginning itself i can told i have told you that if f of z is equal to u plus i v is analytical um, it implies that we can write f dash of z is equal to f of z right this is from the definition of analytical function fine so if what is the meaning of this statement if it is analytical uh, hence for every closed curve c in a domain d we can directly write that integral over c f of z into dz is equal to 0 by Cauchy's theorem as I already told you if the equivalent statement of f dash of z is equal to f of z is integral over c f of z into dz is equal to 0 so hence for a circular disk I mean closed circular disk we have proved that c into f of z into dz is equal to 0 hope so it is clear for you so in the next session let me explain the um, one more important concept called mobius transformation thank you